The theme of this sculpture was Thinker. An orangutan poses thoughtfully with an apple, which represents wisdom in the Bible, gravity in Newton's law, and technology today. Thinking the artist wanted to convey is a necessary part of evolution. Before human, we all monkey. Hai Feng Wang led a Chinese team of four, which competed in the International Snow Sculpture Championships in Breckenridge, Colorado. For five long days, they toiled in snow. From abstract lines and shapes to a finished piece of art, I enjoy the process of making a snow sculpture. In this, the event's 28th year, 16 teams of sculptors turned snow blocks weighing 23,000 kilos into stunning works of art. The rules of the competition are pretty strict. No power tools, no internal support structures, no colorants. Only smaller tools and shovels are permitted. Vegetable peelers and chicken wire are okay too. The sculptors came from all over the world. China's team? They were taught snow sculpting at a young age in like grade school. Uh, we have some people that are graphic designers. We have some people that are pastry chefs. Another Chinese team took the cake last year, finishing in first place with their entry, Mermaid. Not every sculpture manages to survive the week. Temperatures can vary wildly. The weather does affect us, but we've taken weather into account when designing the piece. That's why we designed a melting effect of the sculpture. In this way, the piece will stand no matter how the weather changes. It does make you think. And I like the detail of the snow drops coming down on the side. 40,000 spectators turned out this year to watch the sculptures take shape and admire the skilled artists who built them. It's so intricate, I couldn't do it. <laughs> well, I'm an artist, but not a sculptor, <laughs> so no. <laughs> Each piece was unique. This competition is high-level competition. Every team is good. In the end, Mongolia came out on top. The Chinese team took second place as they gave everyone who passed by their creation something to think about. Hendrick Sabrandi, CGTN, Breckenridge, Colorado.